it's January 2022 and with just so many repositories online, lots of different places for you to download applications for your Fire Stick or your Android TV. Probably the most common question I get asked is, how can I ensure all of these applications are up to date? So whether you've downloaded from APK Mirror or my website or somebody else's website, what's the easiest way to ensure these applications are kept up to date? Well, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, this application is the ultimate application in keeping all of your applications up to date. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you so to get the latest version of this application open up downloader and enter in the short code 53402 and this will quickly take you directly to my website so type that in and click on go now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get the latest version of this application. So let's open that up. So this is the updated APK updater. Here's some of the key features, supports APK mirror, Aptor TV, F-Droid, and even Google Play. And if you keep scrolling down and here's the link for the latest version. Let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And you can follow the same procedure on your Android TV device to pull this application directly onto your device. Click on install. That's now all done. Let's press the home key. Now I'm going to do a quick demonstration with this application, both on my 4K Fire Stick and also the new Chromecast with Google TV, because I know the previous version of this application had some issues with Android TV. So I just want to show you that the new version works properly across both platforms. So now when you start the application for the first time, it will do a complete scan of your system and tell you exactly firstly what software you have installed but then also what updates are available for that software so here, for example on the bottom left we can see that i have 61 applications installed on my fire stick and out of those 22 actually have updates right now now before we go to the updates tab if you just press left on the remote that takes you straight to the bottom so we can now navigate across the bottom menu so the first thing you should do is click on settings Say for example, you can adjust the theme uh, if you want to, but the key thing you want to change here only on the Amazon devices is the update sources. So by default, you have four repositories which are all enabled. The only issue we have with APK Mirror is, is when there is an update for any of your applications, the link to actually get the update takes you to that website. And as we know that browsing on the Fire Stick, it is a little bit tricky because there's no native built-in browser that we can download from. So that's why on the Fire Stick or any of the Amazon devices, I recommend you turn this off. The other three repositories actually just pull the application file and allow you to update it directly from this application. Occasionally when you do it, you do see an update or async error. Now the super quick fix for that is, is just going to your settings and where you have the sources, just turn off Google Play because that particular error is only for Google Play. So if you do get that on your device, just turn off that repository, restart the application, and that will fix that error. Now let's go down. The rest of the things I just leave as a default. Let's now go into updates. And here we are, guys. We can now see that I have 22 applications which have updates available. And if you notice on each of the application, we now get a logo telling us where the update is going to come from. So, so the live channels application, I can see that there's an update on Aptor TV. My current version is 1.24 and the latest version is 1.28. So for example, now if I click on install, that should now pull the APK directly from Aptor TV and just give me the prompt to install it. So it really is as seamless as that. Let's click on install. And there we have it guys. I'm now running the latest version of the application. And let's scroll down. Now here, for example, we can see this application has a newer version on the official Google Play Store. I'm running version 158 something and the latest version is 160 something. So let's see if that works as well. So click on install. And if that's going to work, that's actually pulling the update directly from the Google Play Store. And again, guys, we can see that's working absolutely fine. So no kind of issue of, you know, do I trust the source or where this update has come from? Because these are known sources, we can safely update all of the applications on our device. And let's click on install. 
So we had an update from Apple TV and we've also installed an update from the Google Play Store. What we can also do is choose applications that we have installed on our device that we don't want to update. So maybe you want to stay on a particular version or maybe you don't want to change the version that you have. What you can do is click on apps on the bottom. Now next to each application, we can see it says ignore. And what that means is I can now click on this and choose to ignore the application. So for example, if we can see with, uh, with Aerial Dream, if I click on ignore, we can now see that's grayed out, which means I'm not going to see any updates available for this application or APK Updata is not going to find any updates for the application. Now it can be quite confusing because all the apps normally have ignore next to them, but that basically just means that you can set it to ignore. And once you have set it to ignore, it will look like this, where you have the option to unignore it. So for example, now if I do want to get an update for the Aurora store, I can click on this. That's now not ignored anymore. And the next time I scan for updates, it will show me the latest version of the application. And even if you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag update, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Okay, so let's now jump over to the Android TV device. So here we are on my Chromecast with Google TV. Okay, let's go to all apps. Let's open up the application for the first time. So it's very, very similar on the Android TV devices, but there's a couple extra things that we can do. So again, to go to the bottom menu, let me press left on the remote. I can now go to settings. Now here, for example, we can actually leave the APK mirror because on these Android TV devices, we can actually go to a browser and download updates from there. So I can leave that enabled. And I think the rest of the stuff we can leave as defaults. Now, if your Android TV device, like for example, the shield is rooted, you can also turn this option on. But here, for example, we can see on my device, I have 49 applications installed on my Chromecast and I currently have 18 updates for this application. So let's click on that now. So for example, a Haystack, which is a great application for news, where I can see there's a new version on the Play Store. I can click on that. That should go off and get the update from there. Okay, so you may see this warning the first time you do this. So if I go to settings and just enable APK Updater and enabling this just means that we can install applications through these applications, kind of like what you have to do for other applications like Apple TV and of course Downloader. And let's go back to the Updater. Let's click on Install again. And within a couple of seconds, I'm now running the latest version of the applications. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. As I've demonstrated on the Fire Stick and Chromecast, this really is the best and easiest way to keep all of your applications up to date. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. I really am trying my best to get this new channel to 100,000 subscribers. So if you can help out by liking and sharing this video, that really would be great. So really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.